Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, a bit of a strange video, I'm, I'm just going to price a job. Um, I thought I'd take you along with me. I'll get some pictures and then I'll actually tell you what I'm going to charge the client um, at the end of this video. Um, I also had a client um, want me to quote for a rewire recently. So um, it's a massive old cottage. The wars were probably like three foot deep to get through to different rooms um, really old cottage I knew it was going to be a nightmare so I put a price in five thousand three hundred pounds and the guy was very happy with that um, he said we're going to book it in for this month September so um, I was waiting on for a date and my calendar was filling up rapidly so I messaged him and said look um, just to let you know it might roll into October now and then about Two days later, he messaged me and said, Chris, um, sorry, but you're really too expensive. I've had another quote and it's a lot, lot cheaper. And I thought, <clears throat> how can somebody be quoting the same job that I've quoted? Um, you look, it was like a five bedroom cottage. He wanted a lot of sockets, brand new consumer unit. Um, it's a TT system. Um, no bonding has been done. Um, so the, this complete rewire chased in and he also wanted it um, filled. So I, I priced for first fill, so just bond all my chases up. And he said I was too expensive, so I don't know. I don't know what these people are charging and what sort of jobs they're doing. But um, hey-ho, you know, you win some, you lose some. And, he, you know, he said he got a, a, I was very, very expensive. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go and look at this one. Um, take some pictures, as I said. We'll have a look. Um, I've got a new camera coming. Um, I've got a new iPad coming. Um, so yeah, we're getting there. So we'll see you in a minute. So I've just grabbed, I've got 25 minutes to kill before I got to price that job. So I just grabbed a cheeky bacon roll and a, and a drink. There it is. Ignore all this crap. And I was looking at these um, while I was waiting for this bacon roll. Um, I do like these, and I thought I'd just quickly actually look at the instructions that the manufacturers give you. And it said, installation of maintenance free accessory in situation where this needs you know need to install a wager box or an in inaccessible location. The following instructions must be followed. So the actual only connectors that you're allowed to use in these are the 773 and 222. I don't know if anyone knew that and you actually read this, but if you're fitting 221s, apparently you shouldn't be. Um, I don't know if this is like an old generic instruction manual before the 221s come out um, because the 222s are the bigger, the sort of the first series and then you've got the 773s which are like the push-in red ones that I use sort of long ring mains and they are rated at 32 amps which a lot of people always say aren't they only rated at 20 amps? So these are actually the instructions um, and then there's the cable tie illustration there no word of a lie, if you've not tried one of these bacon rolls from Costa, these beat McDonald's 100% easily. Right, God, why do I look so greasy? It's only bloody, what, nine o'clock? So I thought I'd better pull off the guy's drive before I start rambling to my uh, phone. So I've had a look at the job. As you can see, um, it's got like a sleeper wall, a little courtyard. Um, what else did I take a picture of? The consumer unit. So it's got an old MK with one spare way. Unfortunately, it is on the RCD side, which I don't like to do. But basically, he wants to put a sub main in down to a workshop that he's building. So here's the list. Write it down if you want. Um, get your price in your head. I haven't worked mine out yet, so I'll pause. I'll do mine. So it is 90 metres of cable. I haven't worked out the cable calculation yet, but I think it's going to be a two core 16 mil. Okay, two core 16 mil SWA. It's going to be clipped on the sleepers all the way down to the workshop around the courtyard. It's 90 meters work. I reckon it, it's two days work. Okay, two two and a half days work. Depending on how quick you are. It's a full way consume unit down in the in the little workshop there with an earth stake. Two five foot LED um, fittings there. Two so it's all metal clad, okay, so eight metal clad double sockets, 
Um, he wants a metal clad spur for an oil heater that he will supply. Um, he wants a two gang metal clad light switch, one to switch the five foot LEDs and one to switch two lights that he will supply. But he wants me to wire them and he also wants to incorporate um, um, a PIR so if, if they're left on they go off in the day. Um, yeah, so and then board end, um, what I like to do is, um, I'll, I won't import the house earth, it's a TT, um, it's quite far, so I'll put my own earth stake down the bottom of the garden, um, I'll then come off the 30 milliamp, you might get some nuisance tripping, but I've, I've done a few like this, where there's only one spare way on the, on the 30 milliamp side, I've never had any nuisance tripping, um, and at least you, you know you're protecting that cable, um, that's buried in the ground so I'll, I'll earth the armoured from the house and then I'll gland my armoured into a plastic box and then the earth state will just supply the little workshop with its own own earthing system there um, so I'm going to write my little list down now work it out and I'll come back to you silly me what I forgot to mention is um, he doesn't want it clipped he doesn't want copex he wants white conduit okay it's all got to be in white solid plastic conduit all around inside this workshop and the workshop's probably three meters by five meters roughly it's quite big um yeah okay just to make it fair i'm pricing up for 100 meters of 16 mil two core and it's roughly coming out 340 pound delivered so if you want to put the same price for that and then we'll you know you can compare off of that right so i've done a quick tot up um a quick tot up like, this is quick literally like Three minutes quick. Bloody burnt nose. Um, drum roll. Roughly, this is rough £1,300. Roughly. That is rough. That's just for me to do it on my own. This is rough. It's a rough price. And it won't be a rough job. £1,300. Let me know what you think down below. Um, I think it's going to be a bit more because the cable is quite expensive, etc. But there's no digging to be done. Um... I reckon three days, three days. If you want two fifty a day, you know, price it, price it like that. But um, I'm gonna now jump into Argos screw fix, and I'll see you in a minute. So I've just picked up um, an earth rod. I'm actually gonna ring the NIC technical. I don't know what anyone's take is on a TT system. Um, I'm fitting a new consumer unit um, earthing rod, 16 mil earth. I'm just wondering whether we don't do we still need to fit a hundred milliamp RCD. Um, I know the readings are still going to be too high because um, just one earth rod doesn't give you a great reading but it will be within the limits anyway um, so I'm going to bring up the technical in a minute um, I've got uh, some more of these I love these and I just picked up 10 of these little Wago boxes they're like for um, the lighting Wago box just to compare it to the standard sort of ring main one you use look and, and rather than having the two entries that side, you've also got an entry that side, so you can sort of go in and out to down lights. And the reason I bought some of these is um, because the house I'm going to to do that earth rod on the board, they've had some down lights put in and it's utter trash behind. So I've got to re-terminate all the down lights. And I thought I'd um, just give these a go. So, yes. And just to stop any confusion, the rating of these, European rating, 32 amps okay uh, we know John Ward has tested these sort of extensively and you find that these actually melt before this thing will give way so they easily take 32 amps okay any confusion there you go and just to end I've just managed to get through to NIC technical which they were very helpful and we do not need to fit 100 milliamp um, RCD and then the consume unit so as long as the tails go from the meter to if you want to fit an isolator 100 amp um, isolator you can do that but if they come in straight out the meter straight into the consume unit keep those tails as short as practically possible he said um, and then you're relying on the double insulation of the cable as long as there's double insulation all the way into your gland into your new board you don't need to fit 100 milliamp rcd um, and as long as all your outgoing circuits are 30 milliamp RCD protected, which they will be because I'm fitting a new Hagar board, which we're actually going to go and have a quick look at now. So this is the board that I am fitting um, next week. This is a 14-way high-integrity 
Uh, this one comes with the SPD, but there's the number. Uh, that 14 relates to the ways available. Um, so yeah, let's get it unboxed and have a look. So I believe this is the biggest one they do um, in a single stack. Um, this is the 14 way. If you go up to the 16 way, um, it's a double stack consumer unit. So as standard, you get all your lovely labels. And I do like Hagar, they give you so many. I've probably got three or four of these in my bag now, which I keep you know, going back to when I'm doing jobs. You get the instruction booklet. And then just here, you get all the torque values, which are quite nice. You can have that if you want, just there. And then you get the hashtag Hager Gang. Which, of course, have you just seen? I am already a member of the official Hager Gang. Um, and I've got a load of MCBs here, which we will just click in just to show. So first thing I'm going to do is literally just um, get rid of the box. Can't really get a great view of this because it's quite a beast. Um, this is the daddy board and obviously the 10 way is the mummy board. So it basically comes pre made up to an extent. Um, you get in the back the if you can get it out the insulated buzz bar okay which you can cut down um had a job the other day where i had to have a dual rcd board but i also had to have an rcbo here and what i do like about these boards is um they give you this uh this neutral bar here um, that you can connect separate ways into and they're not going to interfere with these um, these neutral bars here. I know some manufacturers only give you the two bars but um, uh, Hagar give you uh, this one here just in case you need to add any bits in. Um, this one has got the um, incorporated um, SPD there. Um, so you've got this um, earth here and then you've got this protective earth. I don't know if you actually do need to put one in there. I don't think you do. I have a few people telling me that you do, but I think what they've done is, is this one is good enough here, which goes straight up to the earthing bar there. Um, yeah, so basically, and they've just um, lugged them onto the um, terminals off the main switch. The only thing I don't understand with this is, so what is protecting this cable? So it's only um, a six mil by the looks of it. So it's been protected by the actual main incoming fuse, isn't it, via the house. So if Hagar want to make a comment on that, what's protecting these cables? Um, because I know if you retrofit um, if you retrofit an SPD into a consumer unit, you need to have a breaker. Um, I think maximum 32 amp um, protecting um, at least that cable that's feeding this. Um, and again, these are removable. So if these do go, you can buy these cartridges. So this is made in Germany. And if you actually read the, the MCBs there, so Sedex France, so yeah, made in France, there you go. So um, this is a DIN rail, if you don't know what this is. This is an RCD, okay, um, and this is another RCD. So this is called a dual RCD consume unit. So what you end up doing is is cutting down your um, buzz bar here to accommodate the certain amount of MCBs you want to fit. And quite simply, you literally just click click those in. Um, this will then sit, he says, right up against that main switch and you just cut your buzz bar and then fit um, as many MCBs as you want. Um, obviously I can get seven, seven on each side of this one because it's uh, 14 usable ways um, in this one. So yeah, I love these boards. Um, this is my go-to board now, which I fit. Um, so on that little job that I'm just gonna price, I might price for an RCBO. One of those uh, CP fuse board, fuse board or whatever they're called, um, consume units. So yeah, so yeah, I do like these. These are the go-to board now. I'm official member of the hashtag Hager Gang, uh, and yeah. So that's just a little look at this board. Really, not very in depth, but if you're watching the channel, you kind of have a clue of what this is. But you know, if you're not watching, uh, if you're not an electrician, 
you're getting a, a quick look at um, these things I throw away because I people tell me to glue them in but they're rubbish and you can actually buy the knockout um, plate that goes in that knockout which are which are fairly cheap but to be honest they should be included in with the boards and you get loads of knockouts on the top and you get loads of knockouts on the bottom um, they do do these with a square square knockouts I don't know why um, trunking maybe and then look you've even got the side knockouts and the side knockout so on this one what I'll have to do is I've got a nice brass um, one of those brass um, consumer unit um, glands which I will then bring my tails into in this one either in the side which whichever works out best really it's you know every job's different so but when you do generally do these you can tuck these um, these are tri-rated cables so they're not like normal tails they're not stiff and rigid you can manipulate these um, and sort of get them hidden out of the way once you've um, done your consumer unit a bit like this look so it looks nice and neat yeah there you get the idea thanks for watching and if you're going to the election on the 19th, um, I shall be there. So come and say hello.